Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Andrew Vogel. Lou, always great to see you. We're at the Claremont Collection. It's a private collection, but today, Andrew, tell us about the collection. All right, so cool. We're um, a private automobile museum in Chicago. We're about 100,000 square feet and over 300 automobiles yes. on display here in a very cool way. Uh, go to ClaremontCollections.org. That's two Ks on that, ClaremontCollections.org. Check out the website for more information. If you have a group, we can we can have you in here as a, a private tour, uh, but only for big groups. So anyway, Lou's here though, which is really cool because we're going to see an awesome car, truly one of my favorites in the collection, which is saying something because there are a lot of cars. Uh, but let's take a look. We're in the Woody room, and when you're in the Woody room, you do a Woody. So what do we have here, Andrew? We have a 1941 Packard station wagon. Give me one now, minute. Now, this is a, a remarkable automobile for lots of reasons. One, that it survived at all. Two, the restoration on this vehicle is bar none, one of the best I've seen anywhere. Uh, it's an award winner over and over again uh, and you'll see why as we give you some of the details here but it is a great car the paint uh, Lou will get a close-up of that at, at some point to show you but the paintwork is phenomenal it's this great sort of dark sort of uh, cherry metallic it's just beautiful oh it swoops in there look at the I mean this this car looks like showroom ready I mean, it is just great. Yeah, it, it really is. The Packard 110. And look at the, the big swooping fender that goes into that footrest. There's your 110 jewelry slash hood release. The hood release release is there. Secret. You're not supposed to tell them. Oh, <laughs> there I go, spoiling it. Oh, well, look at the uh, look at the detail in the wood and how that's curved. And how it all comes together. Even like these pieces here. These are big bolts. You know, Packard uh, survived the Depression, survived the, all of the, the turmoil in the 30s uh, as related not just to the economy but the auto industry. Uh, and continued on, and so here in 1941, just before the beginning of our beginning to World War II, you know, when all automobile production ceased, uh, you have one of the last examples uh, until 1946 when they, uh, when they uh, were able to produce the, the next one. So here's the last Packard, as it were, uh, until after the war. But what a, what a neat utility vehicle. And still has the elegance of a Packard at the same time. See Packard there on the bumper. And the light would shine up on the really cool. Now you'll also see this one is configured to be a people mover. So you've got a third row of seating here. Yeah. Uh, that row is removable. Let's uh, open that, that door bench. Please. Look at the door. As Packard would do, the fit and finish is just, you know, a few notches beyond everybody else in the biz. So you kind of hop back there, kind of almost minivan-like. Right, so here you can see when you... Let's take a look at You can see this here. Right, so here's what would happen. You could remove the shorter seat in the second row and replace it with the larger seat that's behind it and then have cargo space behind. Uh, or put the short seat behind. I mean, it was really kind of clever how it was all able, uh, you could move it about. Look at this view from the back here, too. Notice this front section here is leathered off. And we've got this light. We're not going to be able to start this one today. But you get the feeling of, this is what the driver sees as we zone in. And it's just um, beautiful. That, that's all original to the car. What a history lesson. Just looking at this. Three-speed manual transmission, 
on the tree, as they say. The petals down there. You can see the, the shape of, of, the, uh, of, of the switches and the clock and the speedometer and even the center console there. It's the, sort of the last remnants of the Art Deco period shining through one more time. And then there's the Packard logo right there. The wood and the clock. Looks great. I noticed, I noticed there's a, lo a lock as well. That must have been... Uh, the glove box is right yeah, there. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, let me pull this back. Then I'm going to jump out. Let's take a look under the hood. So here's the hood release. Two sides. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's just, the restoration is stunning. And again, yeah. nobody went over the top on it. It's exactly the way it would have been done six, from the factory. Six spark plugs, three, mm -hmm. and three. Look how far down that goes. Yeah. It's really, look at the horns up here on top too. Dual blasting. It's really kind of cool. Can we open the other side too at the same time? I think it, I think it'll do that. Uh -huh. we'll do it. The bigger trick is to fit in your nose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even like that piece right there, how it kind of comes over the car. Right. That gives us a little more light. Here, I'll get out of the way so you can shoot that placard yeah, there I'll too. Yeah. Just that. in there. So it's the originality, the remarkable restoration, and the overall shape, and it's such a, a great piece of history, so well preserved. Uh, that's really what makes it one of my favorite cars in the museum. That's pretty cool. Look at the, the mirror on the side there, and the wipers. Let me show that shot from the front of what that kind of looks like when it's up. Giant bug about to take flight. Yeah, that looks cool. Ready to go. Okay, let's uh, shut up. that hood, please. Fits like a glove. Right. As a Packard would. Yeah. Just like that. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Andrew, as usual, another fun car in the Claremont collection. Thanks so much for showing us. Always a pleasure, Luke. Great. Thanks for stopping by.